week, Lab TV travels to Los Angeles, California, where scientists at the Institute for Creative Technologies are working on a new project that was inspired by a very famous movie. If you've ever seen the, the Star Wars movies, uh, there's a number of scenes where so-called holograms are used, and the most famous one is sort of a pre-recorded scene of Princess Leia. She gets projected out of R2-D2, uh, and she's saying, help me, Obi-Wan Kenobi, you're our only hope. Obviously, if this kind of technology really did exist, it would be a very useful thing for all sorts of different things. You could make a phone call and have the person be like they're really there. Dr. Debevic designed a 3D image display, and then army leaders challenged him to create a way to send those images. The result is called 3D teleconferencing. Basically, the 3D teleconferencing system is uh, a live 3D scanner system hooked up to a live 3D display system. First, the person is scanned to capture the 3D images. The scanning system is done by projecting basically a series of stripe patterns on the face very rapidly and we look at how those stripes drape over the shape of the face. And by viewing that with another camera, we can figure out the 3D shape of the face and you know, basically a photo of the face as well in real time. The key to making the display work is a new high-speed video projector. This one can go up to 5,000 frames a second. I had the idea that if we just aim that down onto a mirror, so like aim the video projector down, 5,000 frames per second coming down, and if we put a mirror at 45 degrees, basically, it would reflect images, the different images that it's showing, uh, if we rotate it to different eye positions all the way around in the scene. And if you do the math, you get, say you need 15 frames per second uh, in order to give the illusion of motion say you need like a degree and a quarter in order to get a different image to a right eye and a left eye if you're up to a meter away. I figured that we needed to show about 288 images around in a circle 15 times per second. You multiply those, you get 4,320 frames per second. And that actually fits within how fast our video projector can go. So essentially what's happening is that when people look at the 3D display, they're all seeing images that are reflected off of the mirror. But when the mirror is aiming an image toward their right eye, there's one frame going. By the time that mirror whips around and it's showing an image to your left eye, it's already showing you a different view of the scene and that's the illusion of 3D. This is the first time a display like this has ever been created. It looks amazing, but not exactly like Star Wars. In the Star Wars universe, through their magic of visual effects, they make it look like they're just projecting on thin air, and that's kind of difficult because if, if light is traveling in a straight line out of like R2-D2's lens, you need it to hit something in order to make that light scatter, that photon scatter in a different direction so you can actually see it from a different point of view. And if there's really just empty space there, that means there's nothing that it's possibly going to scatter off of. But their system might even be more useful than the Star Wars one. Princess Leia's message was pre-recorded, but Dr. Debevic can send his in real time, just like a phone call. All right, well, goodbye. It was nice talking with y'all. The lag that we get from the capture to the display is less than a tenth of a second, so it's, it's very quick. It's actually faster than a lot of cell phone calls we make here in Los Angeles. It's just single chip video projector. Well, this is pretty cool. I mean, we get to work with high-speed video projectors, high-speed digital imaging. We get to build contraptions with lights on them. We do things that nobody has ever done before, and we come up with some ideas that nobody's ever thought of before. This is the kind of stuff we love to do. To find out more about 3D teleconferencing, computer graphics, and ICT, check out labtvonline.org.